my partner Unique B bringing her in. Unique B. Is that better? Yes, yes. Oh, that's, that's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Partner Unique B. Unique B. Yes. Um, we're 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 uh, we're thirty plus. Me and you, we're thirty plus. There was a show called. Uh, I like that. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I got to give you a shout out for that plus plus. I like that yeah. plus instead of yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck. I'm I'm thirty five. I'm five years from forty. Yeah, I'm a daddy. When I, I, you know what, Unique? I went on a field trip with the youth at my school, and I had on a bucket hat. I had on some cargo shorts. And somebody looked at me, and they said, you look like somebody's daddy. And I said, that's what I got. I'm watching, yeah. Unique. I, I am somebody's. Kid. They uh -huh. told me in my part time the other day, they said, why you sound like somebody's mama? I said, I am somebody's mama. Okay? Ooh, that, ooh, <laughs> She's somebody's mama, I'm somebody's daddy, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Never. Plus Club, we in the building. There we but go. Speaking of being 30 plus, you need, mm -hmm. there was this show that used to come on when we were younger called Op Arthur. Do you remember that show? I do. It still comes on. My kids watch it. Yes. 22 years later, this show, Arthur, is still moving. Right. And Arthur's like an ant eater, but he has these friends. Uh, <laughs> it's an odd bark, boy. <laughs> oh, he's an art. Oh, my partner Unique knows that Arthur is an odd bark. I don't even know what an odd bark is. <laughs> what's a, what's an odd bark? An odd bark is it's an ant eater with a long snout, and yeah, oh. but the technical name is odd bark. <laughs> My, my partner unique with the many certifications. <laughs> you know the what? Proper name of what an ant eater is. Yes. Season twenty two, unique. Mm -hmm. Season twenty two. The season twenty two opener opens, and that particular show is called Mister Ratburn: A Special Summer. Right, right. From my understanding, Mister Ratburn is their teacher. But 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 check this out, Unique. Here's the uh -huh. catch, Unique. Mm -hmm. We're living in 2019. Correct. Mr. Ratburn. Mm -hmm. That show is about I'm Mr. Ratburn marrying his lover, and his lover is a man. Okay. Now this is common on TV, Unique. Now mm. here's, here's where things get a little tricky. The state of Alabama refuses to run that episode of Arthur. Now, remember, the state of Alabama is dealing with the abortion laws, so they pretty much kind of have a, um, a old way of thinking. Right. They, they refuse to run this episode. So in refusing to run this episode, they ran an old episode from season 21 instead mm -hmm. of the new episode with Mr. Oh. Mr. Ratburn marrying a dude how do you feel how do you feel about that just based you know off that you can't you can't see my foot tapping so i'm gonna just show you my head um okay. are you really are you really ready for my opinion because i know i've i've probably gotten you in trouble with some of your faithful listeners so uh, <laughs> i have a problem with it oh let sure. me explain Let's why i have a problem okay as we know, I have no problem with LGBT. LGBT, and it's a lot Q. of other letters. Uh -huh. Q, I, I don't know them all. But I have no problem with it, right? My problem comes in in that these are children. This is a children-based show. These children have not reached um, puberty. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all these sexual feelings and things like that are not in the play. Mm -hmm. And I do feel that any education prior to must start in the home with the parents. Mm. If you want to educate your children on same-sex marriages and points, and that usually comes about when your children has friends and then 
you know, they meet a couple and they might do a sleepover with it. Oh, well, such and such has, you know, two parents or whatever. That's a conversation for the parents to have with the kids. That is mm. not PBS's job. Mm. Now, high school, middle school, you know, all that, that's different. But we have to realize that author focuses on young children. Mm. And for that reason... I have a problem with it. It's not your job to bring new questions to me as a parent other than the questions that my kids are already going to receive. Now, when your children, usually, if they're three, four, or five, and they start asking these questions, usually you say, oh, well, uh, you know, they, well, where'd you get that? Oh, well, my friend Timmy or my friend Billy or whoever, right? And then it's easier to explain. But you can't explain it when you say, oh, I was watching Arthur and Mr. Ratburn, the mayor, his, uh, his gardener. I don't know. Whatever his mm. role is. My thing is, it, it's one thing to evoke a conversation among people that are, are children that are 10 plus. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to force me to have to talk about it when my kid is three and four. And maybe they haven't run into that yet. Maybe they, have, maybe they haven't and asked any questions. But I feel like it is putting parents in a position. And it's not to say that, because honestly, since I've had kids, I don't sit down and watch cartoons. I ain't seen in a long time. But I'm noticing that cartoons geared towards toddler and preschool age, they're changing. Mm. They are changing wholeheartedly, and I'm not sure that I'm for it. Mm. Oh wait, so so let me just have let me make sure I have a clear understanding of you. Unique, you're saying that you're you're really not for this episode of Mr. Ratburn marrying his. No, because of the age, oh. the age group that Arthur targets. That's my problem. Got you. That's yeah. my problem. Like I said, any other age older, okay, that's a different conversation to be had. However, this age group, I don't think it's right. I just don't. Wow. Okay. Okay, Unique, I see where you're at. You know what, Unique? Um, I, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this first. I'm not a... I'm not a supporter of the LGBTQ community like that. Right. Um, right. Because but we know I that I am. I have no, yeah, you, yeah. you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for me, it's because of um, spiritual beliefs, religious beliefs, mm -hmm. whatever. But at right, the same right, time, right. Unique, at the same time, that doesn't mean I have to disrespect uh, LGBTQ. Right community member that doesn't mean right. I have to look down on the LGBT community uh, member I can separate right. the person from the lifestyle from I don't the have to have style. anything to do correct with the correct I don't have to correct have anything correct. to do with the lifestyle but let me tell you this unique mm -hmm. I am okay with this episode being aired let me tell you why, why unique because yes. as a parent it is my job you said something earlier that was important you said that it is up to the parents to educate these kids first. It is right. my job to sit with my daughter. Excuse me. It is my job to sit with my daughter, look at what she's looking at, right. and explain some things that may be comfortable to me. Now, I'm with you. I'm with you. You said uh, that, that uh, show is targeted at a younger group. So right. I, don't, I don't care if the show runs. But I could look at this episode while I'm with my daughter and see where it's going and be like, hey, baby, you know what? We're not going to watch this particular episode today. I'll explain this to you later. But I don't have a problem with it being aired. Help me out. Please. Okay. Well, you know what the difference is? Holla at your, beauty, your beauty queen is so young. Mm. That's the difference. Okay. So okay. you can watch that now. And as well, as I've learned, my kids are older, right? Mm -hmm. So as I've learned, they show episodes and I'm like, whoa, I remember that, you know? Mm. So 
when she's five or six or four or whatever, and you see it airing, because I'm sure you'll be like me. Like, sometimes I just sit down and watch with them. I just want to see what's going on. You know, so mm -hmm. then you can, after you see in the episode, say, oh, I remember this one. No, we're, we're not going to watch this one. Let's watch something else. You mm -hmm. have that right. You have that power. And mm -hmm. what I am saying is I think that what about the parents who have put on the TV or the kids have a TV in their room and they're, they don't know. So, mm. oh, and let me approach this. You said it's thinking, uh, MT experience is saying, I think the idea is to teach tolerance at a young age. Absolutely. Yes. I yes. believe in tolerance. Absolutely. I believe in tolerance and I believe in respect. However, there you go. I think when it comes up into that five-year-old range from, you know, I think the kids start really understanding around one and a half to five. Mm -hmm. I think that it starts in the home and it's a discussion that needs to be had. Yes. Um, when it comes to that. Yes. Now, if Arthur was, um, you know, based towards... I don't know, elementary, when I say elementary, I mean fourth, fifth, sixth grade, junior high and things like that, then I would think that that's okay. Hmm. Okay. If your child is put in the school at four, her friends will see it and will tell them that is absolutely correct. Absolutely true. And MTA um, experience, I don't know if you noticed, but the first thing I started on, because I know we had some technical difficulties, but the first thing I started on was saying that um, when your kids go to school and maybe they see it, Absolutely. And they start asking you questions, and those questions come before you. I think that is a conversation that has to start with the parents. Yes. And I just don't feel that a cartoon should be the first way that they learn. Gotcha. You know, I don't, I don't know that everybody in MC experience, you may not agree with me. You know, everybody raises their children differently. It's Absolutely. all about love and respect. Um, That's important. The love and respect is important. It's definitely important, and I respect anybody in the way that they want to raise their children. I just don't think that I'm a mother of a five-year-old, and my daughter is now 10, but I've been a mother of a two and a three and a four-year-old. So I just feel that, you know, if they had said, hey, I want to hang out at Haley's house, mom, why does Haley have two dads? Or mom, why does Haley have two moms? That's a conversation that I feel I need to have. I don't think yes. it's up to PBS to try to explain it. Okay. Now. You need, uh huh. Let me go ahead. Go go no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Don't you think that an episode like that opens the door for you to explain that, though? Mm. It does. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't watch it. I'm sure I could go. Um, on YouTube and do that. But see, the way I feel like when kids that young get it that way, I feel, we all know that PBS is about learning, right? Absolutely. So PBS has done it and packaged it in a way that they kind of explain it beginning to end. Mm -hmm. But they're going to explain it the way that they want to explain it. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. That yes. may not be the way that I want to explain it to my kids. Hmm. Hmm. So why not give me that option? There are other cartoons that are, you know, geared towards, you know, older kids. I would have to call my kids, and I don't want to right now because that would go on forever. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure that there are a list of cartoons that could show episodes like this and actually give it to them in a tolerable way. And I'm not saying that Arthur didn't. Don't get me wrong. That is not what mm -hmm. I'm saying. But what I'm saying is within that 15 to 20 minutes, you know, um, they're going to present it, show it, package it, and mm -hmm. summarize it. And that, there may be more questions. But mm -hmm. Arthur is going to move on to the next episode. Absolutely. Absolutely. So then what? Yeah, you still have to explain that to your kids. Exactly. You know let me ask you this, Unique, because you said something important, and I mm -hmm. didn't sleep it. You said uh -huh. that 
you said something along the lines of what about the parents who may not catch this but the children have a tv in their room mm -hmm. do you believe in children having a tv in their room at a young age to where they can just no. go to their room what okay hey me and you on the same page with that one no. me and you on the same page with that one because i gotta nyla i gotta sit with you baby i gotta see what you take <laughs> in that's because you overprotect Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it because I think the kids stay up late. Okay. Okay. So mine is totally different. You okay. just, but oh, yeah, see, I'm that's extra. the difference. Yeah, you, yeah. you super extra. extra. So yeah. <laughs> that's the difference, though. You're, but I don't mind your extraness because you're in the school system. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I'm not. Absolutely. And in, Absolutely. Um. Uh, C.S. Hannah P. is telling us, hey. hey and, um, um, Chris Experience is asking, have is asking a question. Have you? I, I, I don't know what a Peppa Pig is. Because she not there yet. Okay. <laughs> but yes, MC Experience, I have watched, uh, Peppa Pig. Lakeisha is saying that they need their own TV. Don't no, don't, don't no five-year-old need their own TV, Lakeisha. What you talking about, girl? <laughs> nah. Uh-uh. I'll get them a little tablet. Now, now, watch this, Unique. My baby, Nyla, has her own little tablet. That way, mm -hmm. while I'm watching mm -hmm. TV, I can look at what she's looking at, too. Now, 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 Unique, my baby isn't old enough to pick and right. choose what she wants to watch. But it is mm -hmm. important, Unique. I got to see what you, I'm not trying to be helicopter dad. I know, I know I come off like that and it is like that, but it is important for me to be there and raise you the way that I feel like you need to be raised. I can't let you do your own thing. You're too young to do your own thing. How okay. 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 Well, okay. So you're going in with MT experiences that many parents let their babies watch it unsupervised. And when they finally watch it, they were shocked. You know, yes. Yes. and this is part of the reason, and I have to say I was guilty. Um, when Ebony was, I think, about six, there was a cartoon that she was wa watching on. This was pre-cable. She had no cable. And I thought there was a 24-hour cartoon network called Cubo on non-cable in Texas. Okay? Okay. And I was like, oh, this cartoon should be all right. And there was one episode of cartoons where um, I just so happened to come in her room and there was a remake of the cartoon of a story that I had read in middle school about a guy who kept killing his wives and putting the bodies in the dungeon. Wait a minute. This was a cartoon? But they had made it, yes. The episode of the cartoon was about that. And I remember being like, I've heard this story before, but I was older. It was a fable. Well, not a fable. I guess you'd say a fiction novel in middle school. I was older when I heard it. Hmm. She was five or six. And I remember hmm. being like, what the hmm. hell? Then the next time, Arthur has been controversial for years. Because hmm. I sat down and watched Arthur with her when she was starting kindergarten, and there was an episode of Arthur. No, not Arthur. Who's the elephant? I couldn't tell you. You know the great elephant? The elephant, uh, he got a British accent. Has a, oh. If y'all are watching right now live, I see some people live. Maybe you know who I'm talking about. Babar. Thank you. It's okay. Babar. Okay. So Babar had asked one girl to the prom or a dance that he really didn't want to ask. And then there was another girl there who got stood up, so he wanted to leave his date. So he asked for one of his friends to stand in while he could be both of the girls' dates. And I remember thinking, is this what we doing? Oh, that boy is this? No. No. Okay. no. Okay. You got a daughter. You right. Calm right. down. Right. Uh, yeah, Babar, chill out, Babar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they've changed. And I do think that we as parents have to sit down. I think that um, you have a benefit to actually being in the school system. 
and you have a benefit to actually stand up on these stories so you can watch like i said you can watch this now and say hmm is it okay or not going to be okay so when it re-airs you say hey yeah we're gonna watch this nala or else you say no and nala mm, not today we're gonna change the channel and you have that conversation mm -hmm. i i just don't feel i think um if it wasn't a different age group, I would be okay. Mm. The target for, I mean, just for me, the target for um, Arthur, I, I, I'm not okay with. I'm just not. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm with you. Because it even said that in 2005, there was an episode where um, Buster, Arthur's Ar Ar friend Buster, mm -hmm. had two moms. And you mm -hmm. know, in two thousand, we're living in two thousand nineteen. Everything is all good in two thousand nineteen. You can do what you want to do, but in two thousand five, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't out there like that. But Alabama chooses not to air that episode either. Let me ask you this, Unique. Well, in two thousand five, I was still high thotting, so I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't watching Arthur. Mm -hmm. I was watching Yin Yang Twins. Oh, you know, I, oh, <laughs> I don't, yeah, hey, Yang no, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. 2005, I can't speak on it. I can't speak on it. I wasn't a mother then. Let me, let me ask you this, Unique. That, that's funny. Let me ask you this, Unique. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, I'm going to take it away from Arthur for a second, okay? Okay. I, I used to watch Empire. Um, I used to watch the show called Hit the Floor. Now, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I really liked these shows at one point. But for me as a grown man, every other scene was, man, two dudes having a hardcore soft porn sex scene against a wall and tying each other down. And I got uncomfortable because that's not how I, you know, I, listen, I get it. I get it, Unique. We're in 2019. There are, there are gay people. They do what they do. And I'm not here to knock that. I'm, I'm, I'm here to, to be in my lane. But every other scene, Unique, I don't want to see two dudes pushing each other against the wall passionately and ripping each other's clothes. That's not for me, Unique. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? How do you feel about that type of content being on TV. Now, before you answer, I know we want to be inclusive, Unique, and that's fine. Okay. Check this out. All right. Let, let, me, let, me, let me add a little bit more to that, Unique. Okay, thank you. I was watching the Power Ranger movie. You know, I'm, I'm a nerd. I'm into superhero stuff. I and know. Come con. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the Yellow Ranger, the was, Yellow lesbian. Ranger was lesbian. But you know what? They didn't show her tongue kissing nobody. They just touched on it. You know, and you were like, okay, she gay. And then they moved on. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. But when I watch Empire, when I look at Hit the Floor, man, dudes, dudes, two dudes having sex on cars, Unique. I can't, I can't, I, I, that's not for me. That, that pushes me away. Where are you with content like that? Really? Talk to me. You can't say this is the thing. Mm -hmm. We've known each other for over a decade, so we're just going we to keep it real. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So you can't say I want to be all-inclusive, but I don't want to see that. Because then like you want to say, then, wait, wait, wait. You can only if it was. Um, what was that? What was that movie back in the day? Swordfish. When Halle Berry dropped her shit. What if somebody said, "I don't want to see that," but I want to be all inclusive? You okay. can't. You know. <laughs> Thank you, MT experiences. <laughs> but he agreed with But I'm just saying, you cannot. If we're gonna say all inclusive, you can't say I want to be all inclusive, but. It's kind of like an apology that says, I apologize, but no, stop, period. Mm -hmm. So um, I do think that, first of all, we have to agree. I think we should agree. I could be wrong. TV has changed. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, 
you know, things that were inferred, even on shows like Martin and stuff, you never saw them doing it. You never saw, but it was inferred. Mm -hmm. There's no inference now. People are just. Yeah, it's blatant. Hey, it's out there. It's blatant. It's out there. We go, yeah, we, we just going to do it. So, I mean, with the way that the world is changing, you got to realize that they um, are, you're not their only viewer. That's important. That's important. That's important. That's important. So you I'm may glad not. You said that. I'm glad I mean, you said that. none of the stuff bothers me, but you know, um, I I think I'm more bothered when it comes to children. But I, my children don't watch Empire or I'm with you. anything I'm with else. You. I'm so with you. Um, it's it's different for me. Mm -hmm. But you know, like I said, those things don't bother me. They may bother you. And for someone who is homosexual, it may bother them. Be like. Why I gotta why I always watch this? You know, so you real you have to realize that the show is one that is one produced and written by a homosexual guy. A Come homosexual. on, you're right, you're right, you're right. So it's something that he wants to see. I okay. now have the power, so now I'm gonna put some on TV that I want to see. I get you because get a lot you. of people don't subscribe to Logo because they don't mm. want to pay for it. Because they came up with logo to say, hey, you want to see gay content? Here it is. But people are like, oh, well, I don't want to pay for logo. So if we're going to be all of you, can't say I want to be all inclusive, but I want to include, but, you know, so when people get in a position where they can control it, guess what they do? They control it. They control it. it. There you go. You know what, Unique? That's funny because you said something important. You said I'm not their only viewer. And I thought about that, Unique. I said, you know what? <sighs> While I was watching this show and these two gay men were throwing each other up against a <laughs> garage wall. Can you stop saying that? Stop <laughs> saying that. It's the truth. It's the truth. I, I, I looked at that and I said, you know what? This show mm -hmm. isn't for me anymore. And I just I, I just had to stop watching. And, but see, that's the thing. You had it right. Mm -hmm. You have... That right. And I think that people at some point in time forget that they had it right. You don't want to see it turning off. It's, it's, it's that simple. Um, there are a few shows that have gone left that I'm like, hey, I started out as a fan. And I'm like, I don't even know what this is. I just don't want to watch it. Right? So, um, Brad Tuck is scarred. I, I agree with you, MT Experiences. I believe that Brad Tuck is scarred at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I mean, you have that right. If you say, nah, that ain't for me, then that's not for me. And you may tune in another time, and if it becomes more and more of something that you're uncomfortable, that's the choice that we have. But you have to realize, just like this audience, like I tell you, sometimes I say stuff and I'll text you and I'll be like, man, they're going to be pissed at me. They're going to be pissed right. at you. Hey, <laughs> you know, and it's not about, <laughs> it's not about, offending anyone this one is our opinions mm -hmm. but on that one they have to cater to everybody mm. i can't just insinuate that jamal is gay because people say okay you say gay, he ain't never with nobody you know mm. so you know at some point you have to like say okay well this is what it is you know so mm. there we go with that let me ask you this. You said a few before we get up out of here, because we gave we had another topic that we was going to touch on, but we gave y'all some fire content. Today. No, I want to touch on that topic. You're not going to cut me off today. OK. Oh, ooh, this sister is empowered. If she said we're touching on the next topic, we touching on the next topic. But before we get up out of this one, you need mm -hmm. um, you said that there were a few shows that went left. Do you care to name them? No. OK, because they ain't cut me no checks. I just say you ain't cutting no check for her, so she not you gonna live. endorse you. Like that's that. your coin too. If I get a check, we get a check fifty fifty. Yeah. They ain't cutting me no check, so that's why I can't show the label, baby. Y'all ain't cutting <laughs> no check. You need facts. As a matter of fact, I need a refill. Let's go. <laughs> My partner getting that refill. Check this out. You need. Um, mm -hmm. There's a law, all right. That um, I, I read this article. I sent you the article, and it yeah. was approved by Senate. Now, the next step, I think it has to be approved by, what's next after Senate? 
Congress? Yeah, Congress got to approve it or whatever it's going to affect. Come on, I'm, come on, educator. I'm not no history major. I teach English. I can, I can write a book. That's government, boy. That ain't got nothing to do with history. Yeah, whatever. I don't teach government. But uh, anyway, <laughs> they are trying oh to, Texas mm -hmm. is trying to arm educators. At first, mm -hmm. at first, Unique, I was like, uh, I don't know. But as I read this article, you know, and Greg Abbott is putting this together. After the mm. whole, um, what was the mm. school's name? Santa Fe? After the Santa Fe Santa shooting. Santa Fe that, High School. That Santa Fe High School shooting that took place last year where mm -hmm. some substitutes, teachers, and students um, died. A lot of people are in panic, which they should be. And now they're talking about arming teachers. Now, at first, I was mm -hmm. like, nah. but then as I read this article, I, I learned that um, there would be the, the ones who are armed, they have to go through this 80-hour program, and only one person per 200 students can be armed. And I was okay. a little more okay with it. And they would receive um, crisis training, um, intruder training. <laughs> And all that type of stuff. Where do you stand on that? You know, I read this and I get all that. Um, okay, first, uh, G. Force Lopez is saying if they're qualified to carry, I guess he's saying that it's okay as long as they're mm -hmm. qualified. MT Experience is asking, and this is a question I want you to answer. Mm -hmm. Are they going to pay pe teachers more since... Uh, we have to be teachers and bodyguards. Do you have that information? You know what? It didn't. It didn't say that. But I mean, we're already teachers and bodyguards right now. Can I share? Can I share a quick story before you answer? Go ahead. I took the children um, on a field trip, um, the life skill kids, and I had, and we had to ride the metro. Mm -hmm. Beautiful trip. On our way back to school to end the day. This man got on the bus and he was, and the first thing he mumbled, he said, oh, you demon children. I said, oh my God. And then he started going into this whole soliloquy and yelling, talking about, you all gotta love God and join the body of God or you're going to hell. And he was getting in children's faces and I had to grab him and usher him up off of the bus. This I like that time. word, usher. I like that word, Usher. I like that word. I like that word. I had to Usher Raymond that boy up off the bus. No, no, you need this is this isn't the school bus. This is the metro. Metro, right? Public. I didn't feel like I I was um I had the jurisdiction or the qualifications to do that. And and to be honest with you, I let him get a little too further than he should have, to be honest with you. I should have stopped him as soon as he got up on the bus. But in my mind, I was like, you know what? I this is in my bus. I don't know what I could do. Da, 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 da. But then I thought about it. Wait, my kids are on here. And as right. he was getting on this bus, these kids got scared. And then I heard mm. some other grown men on there like, man, hey, man, get up off this bus, you know. Right. But then I went and grabbed the man because my I saw that my I saw that the kids were getting scared. I had to, why he you know, sound like a runaway slave? Stop it, see what? Why he got to have that voice? That's how the man, the, it was a man from, the, you remember Angry Man on, on Martin? That's how, that's how the, was a, hey, man, hey man, get up off the bus. Oh my God. But I'm I done with to, you. I had to politely grab him and, you know, just mm -hmm. guide him towards the door. The, uh, mm -hmm. the, the bus driver opened the door. And I, and, mm -hmm. and I ain't gonna lie, I put a little sauce on it when I pushed him up out the bus. Oh, oh. But well, I we had, flexed I had, it. I had to protect these kids, man. Children, so to answer my right. Partner, M Tex experience, we are already bodyguards, and we getting the same fifty thousand dollars. Ain't no stipend for that. And, and, and in saying that, I put my life on the line. I don't know this man. This man could have right. could have stabbed me. Had done gun, anything, but, right? But I, I right. had my knife on me, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had my knife on right. me, and I had it in my hand. But 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 holla at me, unique. <sighs> You have to realize that my fear in that is that, you know, um, well, first, let me get my history. Mm -hmm. 
my aunts, my grandmother, and my cousins, except for me. All of my female cousins are all educators. Mm-hmm. I have a cousin that lives in Tennessee, uh, my cousin Terrell, and he is an educator. He does special needs. I have a cousin who's a best friend of my dad, but he's more like an uncle, even though he is cousin. Either way, relative, and he works with um, at-risk youth here in Houston. Um, so that is the history, and we both know in December I graduate with my teacher certificate, I already have my bachelor's in English. Okay. And I'm trying to teach. You <laughs> H. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so going forward, I would have to answer that with, I have a problem with it in today's climate. How at me. How at me. And I say that in, and I may catch some heat for this. People may say, oh, you're a teacher, you're open, it's whatever. But you may not know that. Mm -hmm. You may just be good at hiding it. And then you give a teacher a gun, and one day Tyrone come in late and have a smart mouth for the last time. Mm -hmm. And you just tie the Tyrone. You have too many kids that are nowadays that are um, just disrespectful. Absolutely. Period. Um, there was a video not that long ago where the teacher had to be 50s or 60s. Kids snatched the wig off. That's you crazy. Have, I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah. You have kids that are now they squaring up with teachers. Mm-hmm. Like, what you going to do? Mm-hmm. And I think that with some teachers that are just fed up and tired, I think that a gun is just a bad idea. Mm. Okay, but, but, and I'm with you, I'm with you. And I thought about that and I said, well, are we, how is the school police protecting our children? Hmm? Security, I, right, 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 right. No, no, there are actually school police. Police, like yeah, school, like, uh, there are A-Leaf, A-Leaf ISD police. ISD, and I, oh, okay. A-Leaf ISD, Fort Bend, yeah. Right. Now, if an intruder comes on campus, now, some schools don't have policemen, but if an intruder comes on campus, wouldn't you want somebody, and I heard the points you made, but wouldn't you want somebody who has a relationship Extra? With, with your children? To it's a catch 22 for me. Okay. okay. It's a catch 22 for me. I, I, I just feel that there's some teachers that are just tired. Absolutely. And I may see, it, it, they may say, he come in here again with that bullshit, I got him. Mm. And at this point, we don't know what I got him mean. Mm. Because they're tired. And teachers are not respected the way that I feel and the way I instill in my kids, because I'm quick to go up to the school now. Um, mm. You know, Absolutely. the way that I feel that they should be respected. Every parent is not like me. Every parent is not like you. Um, I'm guessing with MT experiences, every parent may not be on that level where we know, you know, um, you know, you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So Absolutely. in that case, what do we do? But But that's the thing. You have okay, why not so, hire more SRO? I'm guessing that's come some kind of officer in the school. Yes, um, it's a school resource officer, like security, but more active. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, mm-hmm. like for me, my daughter is at my is in my school. So right, if, right, because there's a daycare. So right. if an intruder comes into the school, daddy's ready to handle business either way because I'm ready to die for my daughter because my daughter is at this school. Now it's just not, I love the kids. Right. You know, but, but, but not the first. But this child <laughs> that I gave birth to is in the school. So, right, so, right, so right. You might see, you know, you, you, you might see me turning the shaft in that mug. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> but, shaft, really? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Shaft, James Bond, The Punisher, oh you choose, but that's who I am. But, All right. But my thing is, in this situation, okay, 
like you said, it's a catch twenty two. Okay, and I and, and unique. I've seen these videos where you got these old substitutes and and these children are bucking them. And, oh yeah, and you, want, and, and you don't want them to have a gun because they might, you know, they might pop these kids. I'm tired, right? But but at the same time too, we're talking about these school intruders. So so where do we meet in the middle? Do we do we put more metal detectors out here? Um, do we do we put a policeman on every campus? What do we do here? That's the challenge, Unique. I think there should be one more metal detectors, two um, more uh, officers, and believe mm -hmm. it or not, I think that certain teachers should have guns. I when I was going to school, it was a red hall, blue hall, orange hall, whatever. I think there's a certain number of teachers on each hall, and mainly the young ones. And the reason I say the younger ones is because they're new, they're fresh, and their tolerance is higher. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nothing against a seasoned teacher. Nothing against them at all. It's just that I think that they're getting tired and their patience is trying because this new breed of children is just mm. too much for them sometimes. So okay. I think that Maybe a younger teacher that is still about their fight and still about it. I think those should be the ones, if they're licensed, mm -hmm. you should put so many guns on each hall. Mm, okay. Now, and now, I think that would help. Hmm. Now, also, the article said that these guns would have to be locked away. So right. the teachers aren't just walking around with guns on them and holding Right, right, right. In the hall, like, like uh, try me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not okay. we're not gangs pulling up our shirt, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, like eh, try me playboy, Absolutely. gotcha. Okay, okay, I, I I think we're getting somewhere. Nick, you got any more on this topic before we get up out of here? No, that's it. Okay, okay. Oh, oh man, check this. Oh man, check this out. Listen, we had technical difficulties we at did. first, but let me tell you something. After we're gonna end we that, people. Past, Cause this is the second week in a row. Yeah. We gotta figure it out. Cause this is good content we giving you. But after we got past those technical difficulties, we gave you this phenomenal show. And check this out. My partner Unique was on fire. My partner Mtex Experience was on fire. And whoo, I'm on fire right now, man. I oh lord. I done finished my beverage, and I'm gonna go chill with my daughter. Grab my book though. Defeating the Struggle, Journal Entries of a Conqueror. Defeating the Struggle, Journal Entries of a Conqueror. That thing is on Amazon. You can get the ebook. You can get the hard copy. And the link will be in this podcast and YouTube information uh, box or whatever you call it. Catch my partner, Unique B, with the fire content on the, on the Broke BTCH podcast on YouTube. Yeah. And she be drinking that booty wine. I look at the episode... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I put my daughter to sleep. I'm sitting watching my partner's episode, and I looked at I looked at a, a episode. My partner was sipping some wine, and I saw four white folks booties out on the wine, and she called that thing booty wine. I said, "What my partner doing on this show?" Man? But the content was amazing, and that's why I support my partner. That's why she is a a, a co-host on this show, and she is only going to go. Higher, man. Talk to the people before we get up out of here, girl. All right. I want to thank you guys. And like uh, Chris said, you can catch me at Broke BTCH18 on Instagram, uh, Broke BTCH on uh, Podbean, and also Unique B on YouTube where he was watching me drink, as he calls it, booty wine. Uh, <laughs> it's just alcohol and good conversation, and I'm always open to hear everyone's opinions. Um, and to answer MT Experiences, we are here every week with the Bread Tuck Legacy Podcast. Absolutely. And you can always get us on Podbean as well, and um, Bread Tuck Legacy on YouTube. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And this show, for, for y'all that are talking about this, you can subscribe. If you don't catch the live, subscribe to the podcast link on um, iTunes or on Podbeam or on YouTube, like YouTube. my partner, yeah. said, and you will get the notification when this show airs. But we record every week. We don't miss weeks. 
We show it This is a consistent show. We record every week, so y'all subscribe to that. You can inbox me or inbox my partner, Unique B, uh, at Broke, Broke BTCH18 for the information, y'all. Thank, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of the conversation because this show is only going to grow because I got a fire co host, man. We don't oh, have tell, them about our, fire. tell them about our guest next week. Man, so check this out. Next week, next uh, Saturday, we're going to be recording live. I'm bringing in my partner, um, St. Pat. He's a poet in, in Houston. He's a creator in Houston. And, of course, I'm going to have my partner, Unique B, my co-host here. And he's also bringing this artist that's under him named Millicent. And we're going to have a beautiful conversation. We're going to put that show live. And it's, it's, it's going to be just like this, man. Y'all will see it. Just tune in, man, and you'll see it. I'm bringing drinks, and we got the guests. We gonna all have the content. It's gonna be fine. Make sure y'all tune in. Absolutely, man. As you know, man, this is the Bread Tuck Legacy Podcast. See y'all next week, man. I right, unique girl.